Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, you can, you can have a, you can have a prescription for that, but how many people actually get prescriptions for, I mean, like you, you must have really terrible chronic pain to get that. I would I get so. it. Um, I've had surgeries and stuff and I, that's usually what they give me. Yeah. Um, that's like right after surgery. That's only for a few weeks generally. Right. Or yeah. Then maybe a few days. Oh yeah. Yeah. There a you few go. Yeah, weeks. Yeah. I feel like that's more than enough time to get addicted to opioids. It is. Right? It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It totally. Is. Especially if you're yeah. snorting them. <clears throat> Yeah, that was... probably. I didn't even know that was really a thing you did. I mean, didn't you that girl do it? Yeah, she did. Yeah. I just know that bitch from Pulp Fiction almost died when she snorted heroin instead of. Well, cocaine. that's because of, yeah. Well, okay, she snorted much too much. Off. The thing is, you can smoke, you can snort heroin, just not the amount that she snorted. Like you can smoke, snort huge amounts of cocaine, but you just want a little bit of heroin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, a dab that's, will that's, do you. A dab will do you, as they say. I, and that's uh, me saying that just smoke weed. Don't do those drugs. <laughs> well, yeah, no, no, stay away from that shit. Do I, uh, what you I, want, boys. <laughs> well, okay, all right, I'll do, do whatever. Yeah, why not? Uh, I, I had morphine uh, after surgery. I had yeah. jaw surgery. It was like an eight-hour jaw surgery. And uh, they gave me a little button that I would press that would inject morphine directly into my IV for two days. And the only thing I remember about morphine was basically that it obviously made me feel good, but it just put me out. So like mm -hmm. I would press it and it would just knock me out. It was like it was, there wasn't even any, you know, feeling high or it was after a surgery too, a pretty major surgery. So I don't know that it ever really made me feel good. More I've so had just, that, mm -hmm. and I swear it didn't work. Like, how long really? would you press the button and then get an impact soon? Yeah, I, I would press it and then I'd get it within like 10, 10 minutes or so. So they yeah. they told me like you can't give yourself as much as you like you desire you know you press yeah, it yeah, as totally. a timer or whatever and That's i right. always thought pressing it did nothing i've never noticed any cause and effect from pressing that button huh i wonder if Maybe you are placebo. yeah or or you're immune to morphine which My, is a possibility. what a dumbass superpower what a immune terrible to superpower. great feeling drugs <laughs> <laughs> oh this is woody he can't feel the effects of morphine or <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> That's his superpower. Every time they're trying to load up the fucking X Man ship, you're just groggy as shit. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. No, not a buddy sure of mine who's a, a PA, like physician assistant, was like, yeah, like they set those buttons up, but so often people will so quickly max out their button presses that it, they'll like feel a little bit of a good thing to get rid of the pain and they'll go, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, just, and they just, just keep yeah. hitting the button and then yeah. eventually complain and be like, my button's not working. It's like, Are you in pain? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I handle the dentist. We've talked about this before, but when they give you that, uh, what is it called? The gas, the nitrous oxide. Nitrous, nitrous oxide. Yeah. My, my whole objective is to try to play it off sober, you know, for as long as I can. You know, do you feel it yet? No. <laughs> Mr. Woodworth, you're pissing yourself. <laughs> that was that's merely a test. <laughs> like if I, pass. If I well, then just... get Mr. Thirsty on the job. <laughs> <laughs> and I just I like focus and try to get enough like fake sobriety to answer a question or two, so it runs a little longer. That's so you, yeah. so you get more nitrous oxide. Yes, yeah. Because if I say yeah, it's working, he's going to cut off my supply. That's the opposite of what I want. <laughs> you know, in, in hospitals, I, I learned this recently, they keep like big fridges of Bud Light in hospitals. Really? What for? Yeah. What? Because apparently like the only kind of withdrawal that can kill you is like those, like alcohol, like a uh, oh. certain friend of the show withdrawal and benzodiazepines, which like are hardcore, like almost like even more hardcore than opiates. And so like if someone comes Another in friend of like, the show I'm about to like says. seize because they haven't had vodka in enough hours, they, they will like administer Bud Lights to people. I had wow. no idea. Speaking of Blade. All right. So I, I was um I was on, I think, Public Freakout. That's that's one of my favorite subreddits. And uh, I, I, I like to find good videos for us to watch on there. And I'm not a lot of sad ones this week, um, but I was scrolling and it was like streamer slapped in the face blah 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 and i was like that looks like blade so you click it and it's possible this is an older video because i don't follow blade at all but i had never seen the video before and essentially blade is passed out on what looks like a cot like maybe he's in like a fold down bed in an rv i'm not sure his pants are around his knees and he's got underwear on and he is freely pissing himself. And, and someone is putting solo cups 
You know, Can you like, see like, his penis peeing? No, no, no. Someone is putting solo cups, those plastic cups, underneath and right. catching <laughs> the urine. And one is already filled up. <laughs> and they're sliding a new one under there and, and catching. And, and he's like, it's steamy. It's steamy. Oh. And he's like onto his third solo cup. And, and it's just running like from it's filling his underwear up. And he's like passed running. out the whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if it was the same. I, I get linked a lot of this stuff. And then and, but then I definitely found one of them on um, the, the public freak out thing. Then I saw. He's passed out, and the guy smacks him in the face for a donation. Like, slaps him pretty fucking hard in the face. And he jumps up, and he's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? You think it's funny? And he starts calling him the F word, and, and not, not, not fuck. And he starts just slapping the piss out of this guy. Blade does. Blade starts slapping the shit out of him. <laughs> and, uh, and the guy's like, I was trying to give you some water. You don't want to be hung over, do you? And he goes, never. And then he starts slapping him some more. <laughs> <laughs> like he had this brief moment of clarity. You know I don't drink water. <laughs> this is the vodka. Pop, 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 pop. Man, every time you think like, well, this would be a rock bottom, right? It goes lower. Yep. <laughs> that toe looks like he's halfway to Mordor. Yeah, what, why did you? I, I scrolled away from it because I he sent it over and I was just like, what the fuck is what is this? I feel like, like a strong gentleman. wind would blow that toenail away. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. What, like, what, like what? when you take a dandelion and yeah, make what a happened? Wish. Ugh, what Wait, happened is it, it healing? Do I no, see? No, do I, no, no, not no, no way. Yeah, I have a Dude, theory. There's no amount of chicken and kale <laughs> that's getting rid of this. I think the reason <laughs> that the other toenails are so that need attention so much is the belly. I bet clipping his toenails is a challenge. Where are you noticing oh, that's the gotta be a toenails here? To get to. I know. <laughs> Wait. When you, yeah, you would I'm make being, a yeah. terrible doctor. Unless <laughs> 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 someone's got like a harpoon through their stomach and you're like, huh. All right, give me the soup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need 400 milliliters of soup stat. Don't worry, sir. Help is on the way. <laughs> yeah. Say, uh, well, welcome to Matt Woodworth's, um, you know, Herbology Center. I'm going to once again prescribe a cup of blended kale. And he's like, I'm, I'm going through severe benzodiazepine withdrawals right now. Well, a little, little cup of kale that'll that'll turn you right. George you know, if you need to feel a buzz. Benzos, have, you say. Oh, have green, you no. tried the broccoli soup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> worry. This is awful. So, so this is a this is a this is the gentleman that we were just discussing. This is his toe, and it is a side effect of his alcoholism. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, wow. uh, so his and alcohol of choice is Jägermeister. Am I pronouncing right? Jägermeister, and um, that's a, a heavy sugar thing. So he's just yeah. pounding sugar drinks all day long, and he has alcoholism combined with diabetes. Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable. Yeah. If he, he if sure. he like. If he's not going to turn around the booze with at all, he at least needs like a seasoned 58 year old booze hound to give him an intervention and be like, you don't got to get sober, but switch to vodka. You're drinking too much sugar. Like, even <laughs> well, that would be a market I mean, improvement. So it's, I mean, like, has a doctor not gotten a hold of him and been like, hey, if you keep doing this, you're going to die? They literally said, if, if you keep this up, I, you might as well, I might as well take the foot now. Yes. Oh, fuck. Yeah. What? Dude, I love and having so, two feet. And he didn't stop drinking? Right. Um, no. Well, I mean, he, he said he was drive home to drink. So <laughs> he couldn't drink until he got back. But that's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, so that is unbelievable. Here's how it happened. He, um, so he used to love video games. And he managed to turn video games into like a career, you know, a little YouTube thing going on. That's great. Yeah. And he loved drinking. And he managed to turn drinking into a career, you know, donate for a shot, donate for oh. this. And, you know, donate for this embarrassing act. And uh, um, that just enabled the drinking to sort of spiral into something that got out of control. Yeah, I can tell you, I can't tell you how many people in this line of work over the last 15 years that I've noticed have basically have become, and, and no joke, they become alcoholics. They become addicted to alcohol and then had to go to rehab because alcohol reinforced their entertainment or reinforced the way they were entertaining. And, um, most thankfully most of my friends have gotten out of it because they realized they were in a pit and they were like oh shit i gotta pull myself out mm -hmm. um but it's so super dangerous there's just uh, that's it's one of those things that i i i i, I have a hard time conceiving of it because i'm not an, i don't have an addictive personality 
So it's really hard for me to be like, oh, I get it. Yeah, I've been addicted mm-hmm. to this, and but I just don't have that. But you probably, probably see doesn't help them as much as they think. Where like they almost convince themselves like, oh, I need to be drunk to be funny, and then that's like a self fulfilling prophecy of like, right. oh, I you know they thought that was funny and I was drunk during that. Got to do it next show. It, it, alcohol is one thing, but I feel like a, a handful of people on YouTube or in Twitch or whatever, it turned out not to be a good thing. Like they didn't yeah. exit it with fame, fortune, and mental health. You know, right. it, it it feels like a huge win when you're growing up and you know you, you've had a level of success financially you've never seen before. Everybody loves you because everyone loves everyone on the uprise. And then it turns the other way and they weren't smart with their money. They're having a hard time dealing with the hate. And then just after the ride is over, that alternative universe where they just like finish college or something was a better life for them mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. the ride on YouTube or Twitch or what have you was. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. That's true in a lot of situations. Yeah. And everybody thinks that they would be good at dealing with, I, I want to say fame and fortune. I, I recognize it's this Z level fortune for most people. It's the lower. Yeah, lower yeah. <laughs> but it, it's still a level of attention that other people don't get, that other people have never had to deal with. And everyone <clears throat> thinks they'd be great at it. And a lot of people are not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> so scary. Fucked up. Yeah, it's it's so scary. It's, it's, it's again, and, and, and I, this took me a long time to conceive of this for myself, which was, since I don't have an addictive personality, it's it's hard for me to empathize or sympathize with that because I, I never get addicted to things. Uh-huh. So it's so it's weird because I and so I've had to really change my thinking about that and instead be like, oh come on, just you know, hey, willpower, buddy, and like it's not that. Mm-hmm. It, it ends up becoming like a real problem for people that, and it's in some cases it's genetic, in some cases it's disease. Uh, uh, I'm the opposite. And it's. Do you ever feel rough. addicted to stuff even like food though? Where there's just like a snack that you're hankering for, and like the addiction changes all the time. Some of it might be pork rinds, some of it might be Cheez Its, or you know, uh, <laughs> the, I think the closest I've gotten to that is like is Mexican food. <laughs> um, because I fucking love Mexican food, but I mean, like, I don't, Senor, I'm going to have to cut you off. <laughs> I need five cases in one night, and I can't be responsible for another heart attack on our floor. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the that's the closest I've ever I've gotten yeah. to that. I and and by the, by the way, this is this isn't me preaching about not not being addicted. Not. Like this isn't me being like you know if you're addicted to something that's bad. No, not at all. It's exactly the opposite. I just I just got lucky. I just got lucky. <clears throat> I'm the opposite of you. Like I get addicted to everything all the time. It's just not drugs, alcohol, and stuff. But like I'll get into well, a video. You, don't, you need to try some more drugs and alcohol. That's the, <laughs> that's all this is about. You're probably I right. I don't, see, I don't see Woody's as much as an addiction, as much as like a semi constant moving obsession, where it's mm. like this is the thing I'm obsessed with now. I'm so into paramotoring. I'm obsessed with weightlifting now. I'm obsessed with you know lawnscaping or or taking care of my my barn or whatever. Like that's what it seems. But those are all healthy things. So Sans, far, maybe the paramotoring that's pretty dangerous yeah but. yeah and, and the video games are a different level like i don't know like they, they were great for a career and this and that i also gained a lot of weight during that period in my life um but you know a lot of people gain a weight from the time they turn like 36 to 47 so uh, you're on the tarkov these days though i Woody and i have played a little bit of tarkov <laughs> oh it's, it's so good let me describe yeah. i don't want to do too much tarkov talk but here's the infective thought that's in my head you can only do a scav run every 20 minutes. Scav runs, you either win or tie, right? You either advance your character or it just gets undone. And I'm like, well, I have to shower. So I guess scav run, shower, and then scav run again. That's the best <laughs> use of my time, right? <laughs> Is that it'll be ready by the time I finish my shower. These are not the thoughts of a normal person. Here's what you need to do. <laughs> Once you upgrade your hideout, mm. scav runs every 10 minutes. Oh, he's right. He's right. Didn't right. know that. I get a scab every ten. Yep. I my I thing is I, like I, don't do scab I can finish this entire tray <laughs> of chicken wings if I don't eat Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if right. I just purge halfway through, then <laughs> <laughs> I'm not vomiting up that delicious fatty protein. 